from Tenke from Gurumu in the Katanga. Quite magnificent new material, um, uh, very abstract, uh, very, very artistic. Actually, minerals are about the aesthetic, and this one has a lot of the, the abstract of maybe or the, the, the view of abstract art. Now, as a crust, we have what appears to be chrysocolla. Sitting on top of that is a lawn of druzy quartz. And when we look into some sections, on the cross sections, there's the green. So there's most likely some malachite associated as well. The general color is a, a white. And uh, there seem to be slight shades of other color, maybe a bit of bluish in that section. Uh, from a display point of view, quite a versatile little guy. First of all, if you have it lying flat on a turntable like this, we'd have this effect. Going around like that. And across there is a bit of bluish in this section. Let's just zoom in on that. And then, of course, looking from the top down, we have this, this effect. And these vugs and little cavities are quite interesting and like little uh, faces uh, jumping out on the, on, the, on the surface itself. All encrusted by chrysocolla. In this case, I think there may be, oh, there's even some blue chrysocolla there. So a light blue chrysocolla associated with some malachite perhaps. A little bit of crystallization there, most likely a slight dusting of, of malachite. All the way from the Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katanga. Quite a lovely, well, lots happening on this guy, as is pretty aesthetic. I think under magnification, you'll find sections like this are quite magnificent. And there's again a different green over there. Almost a, a sort of a Bayildonite green. You can see the tiny reflections of the quartz crystals, and this has got a whole lawn of quartz crystals going right across it.